summary read? Did it? No, just kidding. Not the question. Pretend I know what I'm talking about. Perfect. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Jay and I'm here with the Christmas in July tag. It was created by Novels and Nonsense and I was also tagged by her over a year ago, but I'm kind of just filming this now. But we can pretend that it was up a year ago. Also, just want to say, Sam, you look so cute in the video, you look so tiny and like a little baby and it makes me really happy, so yeah. Without further ado, let us get started. The first question is Santa on the beach. What wintry read did you read during the summer? And I'm going to go with Let It Snow by Lauren Miracle, John Green, and Maureen Johnson. I don't actually own the book because I rented it. I rented it. I took it out at the library. So I'll just insert a picture somewhere. I'm sure everybody knows what it looks like, but it's three winter stories that all intertwine with each other. It was really good. I think I gave it like three or four stars on Goodreads. I don't remember. It was like two years ago. The second question is Elves Tanning and that is what fictional world would you like to go to? And I'm going to say Elsewhere, which is by Gabrielle Zevin. And I think it would be super cool to go to Elsewhere because the whole, like, I mean, it would suck the whole dying thing, but I think once you were there, it would be kind of cool because you could like spy on people who are still living and you don't age, you age backwards, which would be cool so I'd never have to get old and die because I'm already dead, but I don't have to deal with like arthritis and stuff, so I mean I'd be happy. The third question is Melting Snowman and it's the book that made you cry but you would still reread and I'm going to say 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher. I didn't actually cry at this book because I've never actually cried at a book but it was really really sad and I thought it was such a good book. I think I gave it 4 out of 5 stars or 5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. It's so good and I would reread it in a heartbeat but I have all these other books that I need to read so I don't really reread books but read it people. Read it. The fourth question is Christmas lights on the house still. What book have you put off reading? I'm going to say The Mortal Instruments by Cassandra Clare. I've had this book since it came out. I just haven't picked it up. I have the entire series actually. It's They're so thick. It's just terrifying. And I just, I want to read all my tiny books so it looks like I read more. I have a problem. I know I need to pick it up. I know I need to read it. I will eventually, maybe when I'm like 50 and retired, but I will still do it. And the last question is a box of tree ornaments and it is a book that you read but tried hiding it. I'm going to say the whole Au Pair series by Melissa De La Cruz just because the covers are just, they're so bad. They're just so bad. So when I would read them, I would like take it off and it would just be like a white book with whatever color spine that book was and nobody would know because they're just others. Oh, I, I think they're just bleh. They're just bleh. They're okay books. I mean, I've given them all three out of five stars on Goodreads. They're cute summer reads. Alright guys, so that was my Christmas in July tag. I will tag who I'm tagging down below. That made sense. Whatever. I will see you in my next video. Goodbye. Christmas lights on the house. Right? Yes. Cassandra Clare. I'm going to say The Mortal Instruments. I didn't hold up the book. It's fine.